Victoria's Secret. There's a lot of things that a lot of people do not know about Victoria's Secret, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you these things right here in this video. First of all, the company was founded in San Francisco, California by a gentleman named Roy Raymond in 1977. Now, he was having a problem at the time. His wife would drag him along as she was shopping for her undergarments in department stores, and he really didn't feel very comfortable about going into lingerie departments and, and department stores. So he invented his own shop, where he could make feel he can cause males to feel comfortable shopping with their spouses for ladies' undergarments. Okay, and that's how the whole store began. Now. As his company continued to progress, he eventually decided in 1982 to sell the company to Leslie Wexner. Okay? And Leslie, Leslie Wexner was a corporate executive in a company called The Limited. Okay? Now, I'm sure a lot of people remember the old stores called The Limited. Uh, they were in, in uh, a lot of shopping malls. Okay? You had The Limited, you had The Limited 2, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm not really sure if they still have those anymore, uh, but a lot of these shopping malls do have Victoria's Secret. Okay. Now, the current corporate headquarters of Victoria's Secret is in Columbus, Ohio. And they spend $120 million a year in advertising. Okay. This would include their catalogs, their web page, the fashion shows, okay, you know, you see the annual Victoria's Secret fashion show, that's part of that $120 million budget. They spend it on their models, so on and so forth. So, yeah, a lot of money is spent on advertising, okay. This is a company that generates about a billion dollars. That's B with a billion, okay. They spend, they, they, rev, their revenues is about a billion dollars a year. That's a lot of money. All right. Now, what does it take to become a Victoria's Secret model? You have to be somewhere between five foot and five, five foot eight and six feet tall. You have to be 18 years old. You have to have a very nice looking body, a body with lots of curves. Not obese, not anorexic, but lots of curves. Okay. And you have to be represented by a top modeling agency. No ordinary modeling agency can get you into Victoria's Secret. It doesn't work that way. Now, Victoria's Secret op operates over a thousand stores across the United States, even today. Okay. Now, you know those famous wings that they wear? Those wings can, wear, they can weigh as much as 50 pounds. They can wear, weigh anywhere between 35 and 50 pounds. Can you imagine having something like that on your back? You have to be in good physical shape to be a Victoria's Secret model. No question about it. Now, who are some of these famous Victoria's Secret models? Well, we have names like Adriana Lima, Alessandra Ambrosio, Miranda Kerr and Isabel Goulant and there are others and if you want to talk about any of these models uh, how they got into Victoria's Secret how long they stayed with Victoria's Secret what happened to them after they got out of Victoria's Secret leave some comments down below Shoot, some of them might be married and have kids by now we just don't know well somebody knows I just don't know so you can leave a comment down below about that now when you're talking about actually going into the store and buying garments for ladies, you have to keep in mind several things. Number one, no lady wants to feel like she's in chains, okay, in chains and shackles. She, she doesn't want to feel like that she's got uh, one of those corsets on that's just binding her to pieces, okay. She doesn't want to feel like a prisoner in her own body. On the other hand, she doesn't want her garments so loose that they fall right off and she has a wardrobe malfunction. You have to keep in mind that when you're buying garments for ladies like that, especially with string bikinis, make sure the strings are strong enough to hold the garment in place. Because if not, they snap and then you have a wardrobe malfunction. You also have to take good care of these garments. After all, if you don't take good care of them, the strings can fray, the colors can disappear, 
That's right, you can wash the colors completely right out of the garment. Then it don't look so good. So a lot of special handling has to be done with these kind of garments, usually. Some garments maybe not so much, some garments a lot more. And then you have to keep in mind that some of these gals may just be allergic to some of the fibers in the products. You know, the, the, the bras, the panties, the whole nine yards, they may, these gals that you take with you, these ladies, may be allergic to the, to the fibers in the garments. It just may be. It's not Victoria's Secret's fault. It's just, it's just a part of nature. Because no gal is going to look beautiful when she's all chafed or ha develops a rash because she's wearing these kind of garments. And she won't feel too good either. She may not even want to leave her house because she has all this chafing or rashes. And it, it's the same with the perfumes. Some perfumes work real well on some ladies. But sometimes a lady just develops an allergic reaction to certain types of perfumes. So you got to be careful what you're buying in a Victoria's Secret. Make sure that not only does she like the smell of the, of the actual perfume, but that she's not allergic to it either. Those are the considerations you have to make. So there's there's the kind of things that you know you you all can talk about. Um, if you want to talk about uh, the history of the uh, well the models, the fashion shows, you want to talk about what happens in those fashion shows. If you have pictures of the corporate headquarters of Victoria's Secret, leave links down below. If you have pictures of the original store that started the Victoria's Secret line, leave it down here below. Love to see that. Uh, if you have pictures of, I believe his name was uh, Roy Raymond, if you have pictures of him and his wife, leave them down here below. If you have a picture of Leslie Wexner, leave a link down here below. There's lots of things you guys can talk about on here, if you've been to a Victoria's Secret and you have a picture of yourself in a Victoria's Secret, link down here below. Love to see it. So whatever you really want to put on here, if you want to talk about your experiences of Victoria's Secret, hey, talk about it. We'd love to hear from you. So, and if you want to talk about uh, the corporate strategies of uh, Victoria's Secret and what you think they should do, that kind of thing, down here below. Anything you want to talk about, leave it down here below. We'd love to hear your feedback. All right. I think that's enough about Victoria's Secret. You've got a lot to think about at this point. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.